In this video, I am going to explain the working of S bar R bar latch. A latch is basically a memory unit which can store one bit data at a time. It can also be referred as an unclocked flip flop. A flip flop is a clocked latch. Basically, latch is the word used to hold. Here, the flip-flop stores or holds the data. It is called as latch. S-bar R-bar latch consists of two NAND gates. It has two independent inputs, S-bar and R-bar. It has two outputs, Q and Q-bar where Q is called normal output, Q bar is called inverted output. Again, the output of the first flip-flop is taken as a feedback input to the second. Similarly, the output of the second is taken as a feedback to the first. This type of feedback circuits are called as cross-coupled feedback. Usually, the state of the flip-flop is mentioned with respect to the normal output. Because this latch has two independent inputs, there are four possible combinations at the input. Each combination has its own state with respect to the value of Q. Let us see this one by one. Case 1, when S bar is equal to 0, R bar is equal to 0. We can explain the working of the flip-flop or latch by using the logic of the gate used. NAND gate logic states that NAND gate produces a high output when any one or all the inputs are at low state. When both the inputs are at low state, one of the input to both the gates is at high low state, hence it produces a high output at the gates. But Q and Q bar cannot have the same value as they should be complemented to each other. This case is against the law of complement, hence is known as invalid state. This state has to be avoided, otherwise the circuit gets damaged. Hence, this case is also known as forbidden state. Case 2. When S bar is equal to 0, R bar is equal to 1. Now, we consider the gate 1 input which is at low state. Hence, it produces a high output. This one is fed back to gate 2. Both the inputs will be at high state for gate 2. Hence, it produces a low output. That is, Q is equal to 1, Q bar is equal to 0. Since Q, the normal output is at high state, this state is called as set state. Case 3. When S bar is equal to 1 and R bar is equal to 0. Under this condition, we take gate 2 first because it has one low out input. Because it has low input, it produces a high output. This high output is fed back to the gate 1. Now, gate 1 has both high inputs, produces a low output. Since the normal output Q is at 0 or low state, this is called as reset state. The last case, when both the inputs are at high state. When one of the input is at high state to NAND gate, the output of this NAND gate depends on the other input. Rather, in this circuit, it depends on the past output because past output will be the input to the gate. So, we need to consider the previous condition for the explanation. 
Let us consider previous state as reset state that is q is equal to 0 and q bar is equal to 1. That is when q is equal to 0, q bar is equal to 1. Now let us consider this output which is fed back to gate 2. Now gate 2 has one low input hence its output remains at high state. There is no change in the output state. This one is fed back to gate 1. Gate 1 has both high inputs thus produces or keeps the previous state as it is that is low state. In both the condition you can observe that there is no change in the output from the previous state to this state. Hence, this state is called as no change or previous state. The state is also called as hold because the flip-flop holds or latches the previous data. The timing diagram for S bar R bar latch. See the truth table. According to this, we should draw the waveform R bar. 0 1 0 1 you can notice here 0 1 0 1 s bar 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 according to this truth table now we need to write when both the inputs are at 0 it is an invalid state keeping both q q bar at high state when s bar is 0 r bar is 1 it is a set state when s bar is 0 when s bar is 1 and r bar is 0, it is a reset state. When s bar and r bar both are at high state, it is a hold state. This is the working of a s bar r bar latch. If you like, please subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.